Check one, two. All right. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear us? Are we rolling out there? And in the text chats, making sure. Let us know in the uh, chaos stage room text if y'all can hear us. Doesn't look like anyone has permission to text anything. In the hang on, let me see. It should be it should be just fine. here. That here. Let's try this. There we go. That do <laughs> looks like it might have. I think we have a winner. All right. Yeah, they can hear us as well. All right. Welcome, everybody. This is Onic Revolution Digital 2023. About my good friend MC Voice is here today. Hello there, everyone. <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, hmm? All right. So, for anyone who doesn't know, my name is MC Voices. I am a voice actor here on Sonic Revolution. I have a YouTube channel up. I do voice acting for other creators as well, like Sonic and the Autobots, Radio Heroes, Sonic Special 3. I've been doing stuff for Gatloth recently and a bunch of other stuff. Diamond Dubs, Supersonic Squad, and a bunch of other projects. And yeah, I'm just thrilled to be here. Absolutely. There you go, y'all. We got our very good friend, very good friend of the server, very good friend of mine right there, MC. Um, this meet and greet is going to be open for any questions. Just again, kind of practice the general etiquette here of the uh, meet and greets. The same general rules that apply throughout the server, a meet and greet. So, you know, be cool and all that. And if you are going to come up here and uh, ask a question, please do have your question ready. Um, in advance and also one question per person we want to get everybody in here a chance to uh ask we will also be taking some suggestions from the chat so just because you're not up on the stage doesn't mean you're not allowed to ask a question or two but uh i think that about covers it mc are you ready to rock and roll ready as i'll ever be all righty we'll go ahead and we'll bring up the first person up here is going to be jack o'sally up in here all right, come on up, Sally. Can you hear us, Sally? You good? You might be muted. Uh, or you might be muted with your mic. Let's take a look. Or hang on, what's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> like what's going on? Making sure they're allowed. To, yeah, they're allowed to speak. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> what's up with that? Okay, come on. What's going on here, uh, Sally? Hang on, Sally. If you want to, you might might get off the uh, back off the stage and come back on. I can bring you back in. Here, we'll, we'll see if we can bring Sally back in here. Aren't we just professionals of what we do? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what is going on there. That's kind of strange. Let's see. Uh, invite to speak. Sally. Hello. There we hey, go. Okay. Go. Yeah, it was just a momentary hiccup. We should be good now. Yeah, I should be good. But, uh, I, I had the, the first Discord, everyone, on the other or lounge. But Discord, everyone! <laughs> it wouldn't be a rebel without that, now would it? But Sally, go yeah. ahead. The floor is yours. All right. So I actually have a question for MC here. Or, right. um, how did you voice um, Cubot? Uh, oh, I, uh, for Sonic Revo or for other things? For, so for Sonic Revo. Well, it's easy. I auditioned. I auditioned for a bunch of characters over here and casual like my Cubot voice, so that's what he went with. Uh, I like how that uh, like every time there's like a, a moment, you just had to like play as Cubot to do a, a changing of voice chip, hip of like yeah. a like a normal one or a pirate one. And yeah, I always or... enjoyed getting to do that. <laughs> I enjoyed it too. I hear it from you who um, that it was actually really very funny to hear and i was mm -hmm. like laughing so hard mm -hmm. you know one of my favorite parts was one of my favorite instances is when it's when i impersonated borsh you know oh. <laughs> arms you want it it's yours my friend as long as you have enough ruby i'm sorry but i don't have a ruby <laughs> <laughs> anyway so yeah that's how it ha happened Sweet. And Cubot's always been one of my favorite characters of voice. Just the way he sounds like this, you know? <laughs> or he could be sound like a pirate or a game mm -hmm. Grr, Shiver me timbers! <laughs> uh, Cubot will always be our favorite Sonic, Sonic boy playing for a robot. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. Anyway, yeah. thanks for your question. No problem. Uh, three days. Happy Halloween. Thank you. You too. Happy Halloween to you there, Sally. Appreciate the question. As somebody who 
speaks fluent pirate as a second language. I approved of that. I very much approved of that. <laughs> Why, thank you. I have been working on it. Anyway, next up we have Trigger VA. Trigger VA. Come on down, my friend. I know who that is. <laughs> hey, MC. Dust, how's it going? Well, there. So my question for you, MC, is... Uh, <clears throat> That's a might be a bit of a tongue twister, but out of a uh, out of all your time voice acting, out of all the characters you've done, uh, what would you have to say was your toughest challenge to overcome, and how did you do it? Hmm, interesting question. I'm not sure. Definitely, one time was one time I had to voice Cubot for a live chat. That's not this, yeah, or for uh, one of the. And basically something like Revo, but not as professional. And the guy insisted I have a voice a voice filter, a robotic voice filter. And the voice filter kept malfunctioning. And he kept having to fix it up. I see. Yeah, I feel you there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always fantastic when your equipment just malfunctions and breaks down. That's mm-hmm. yeah. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know absolutely. That yeah, well, I guess that answers my question then. All right. Cheers. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate Cheers. you, Trigger. Ciao, Dust. Cheers. Uh, let's see. We can have, uh, if anybody wants to check, type it in the chat, you're more than welcome to type your question in the chat, or you can raise your hand and we'll get you on up here. But uh, while people, you know, iron out their questions, I guess I'll, uh, I'll ask one for you here, NC. Was right. there, in, in all voice acting, Actors, there's usually that watershed moment that's like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Was there a moment like that for you that was like a watershed moment that made you decide, yeah, this is exactly what, you know, this is what I want to do. This is really something I want to be serious with. The thing that I had been interested in voice acting for a long time, but it was like back in 2015, I had seen James Arnold Taylor's or show at Star Wars Weekends called Obi Wan and Beyond, and he did a bunch of different voices on stage, claiming what it was like to be a voice actor. And I was just like, "That's what I want to do." Oh, it's just thing that it, it took me until like 2021, where I finally started pursuing that. That's actually really cool. Actually, that's really awesome. Mm-hmm. That's a good little watershed moment for you, right there. It's always it always exists, and we're glad you picked it up in 2021. We're glad you picked up the mic there, my friend. Thanks. Because I noticed I I'd, I'd remembered you know, seeing you around over in the uh, I'd seen your stuff get promoted all the time over in uh, the Team 182 Discord in the community and all that. So it's like, yep, we are very yeah. aware. It's like this is a person who definitely has a future doing this for sure. Aww. It's just those people that you just you just know. Yeah, just know. In the chat, uh, for those who don't know, there's a there'll be a button at the bottom. It'll be requests to speak. If you have a question there, I do see a couple of, I do notice a couple of familiar faces down there. Come on up and have some fun with us. <laughs> Come on in. The water is great. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay, we got Kelp there. All right, let's bring on up, die, Doctor Kelp. Come on up, my friend. What's up, guys? Hey, Kelp. How you doing, Kelp? Okay, so MC, I got a question for you. All right. It's it's painfully obvious to see that you have voiced in many a Sonic project and you've created many a Sonic project. But my question is, where do you go about in the thought process deciding which sort of comics you want to dub? Interesting question. I just go, that's what that comic looks really good. I think I'll dub that. <laughs> or particular moments in like going through RT or IDW is like, that's a really good moment. I really want to dub that. Like, for instance, when I was doing the Mobius 25 years later thing, the thing that really stood out to me is I was just going through Twitter and I saw that. And it's one scene where Sonic is, has been down in the dumps. He, he's lost everything and older tales and Lawrence who come over to comfort him. Just seeing that chemistry between and the two brothers reunited. It was just so wholesome. I was like, I got to do this. I go. was, I initially just wanted to do that one scene, but I was just going through the whole story. I was like, no, I got to do the whole thing. <laughs> and yeah. just, Sometimes just with, a yeah. scene isn't enough. Just, yeah. And just the ones that Ian Flynn did, none of the Ken Bender stuff, because that stuff was wild. You could say that. Just yeah. a bunch of talking. All right. Well, thank you for answering my question. Anytime. Good to see you again, Kelp. 
Appreciate you, Kelp. Appreciate you for that one. Thank you. <laughs> I, love, I do. I did kind of like how you said, you put the emphasis on none of the Ken Pender stuff. Dialogue heavy. <laughs> Dialogue mm-hmm. heavy. <laughs> yeah. It was like you said a mouthful on that. Oh, looks like we've got another request there from uh, one of our very own volunteers, Cam Cam. Come on up, Cam Cam. Hi. Hello hey, there. Cam Cam. It's good to see you again, MC. Good to um, see you again, too. I am fully aware that you can do many voices, um, not just from the Sonic franchise, but many franchises beyond that, like Disney, uh, mm-hmm. Marvel, and a lot of other stuff. I- I've seen your older videos as well. Um, yeah. But my question is, out of all of those voices you can do, which are the ones that you can't do? Definitely like many female voices. Is they're pretty tough for me to do. <laughs> like do like Amy Rose or something like that. But, oh like, gosh. <laughs> but like that, that's actually good. Like Rouge or something, it's a lot harder. Or like another example is like Maleficent or something. Very like this. It's very hard to do without sounding too much like a guy. Mm. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of male vo- um a lot of male People can't do like um, female voice actor voices, um, but there mm. is one exception. Um, Yoshi Tails, he's mm-hmm. really yeah. good at the Tails voice. Yeah, mm. he is. Oh, and Cream. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty yeah. surprising. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's it for me. For uh, thanks for having me. Happy Halloween. Thanks. You too. Thank you very much, Cam. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, they bring up, bring up good old, good old Noah. Good old Noah. Hmm. And we got tough. Ultimate right here. Oh boy, here comes Ultimate. <laughs> here comes Ultimate. <laughs> hey, 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 it's Val. I'm <laughs> going for you. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. hey there. If you introduce me like that, Dust, you know I gotta do it. Oh boy, here he comes. It's Fat of a Gummy! Hey, hey, hey. Oh Lord! Oh Lord, he coming! <laughs> he coming on the mountain where he goes! Hey. Uh, um, I actually did have a question for you, MZ. I know we've right. known each other for a long time, and I probably know everything about you because I live inside your walls, but that's not the point. <laughs> what is your favorite project that you have worked on so far? It could be anything like it could be. It doesn't have to be what you've worked on, what like giving a voice to what you've like editing or like anything like whatever you've been in, like the the box is open. You could pick whatever. Interesting question. Outside of my own projects, it's two of the projects that immediately come to mind are Sonic and the Autobots, where I get the voice Eggman and Knuckles. And just for anyone who's listening in, I'm going to be voicing Ratchet in the next next episode as well so you heard it here first and another Yo, one is you'll do our another one is definitely man. radio hero sonic special 3 where i got to voice cubot for that and with andrew's stuff is it's such a joy to get to work on that your cubot is like impeccable like that the, uh, level of, the level you bring to this character i don't think i can even match and that's saying something because i think i could do a pretty <laughs> decent cubot but I'm not here to compete, but no, you mm-hmm. you bring your Cubot like to a level where it, it it you make you make me who looks dumb all the time look even dumber because I can't even match <laughs> the level of dumbness oh, you bring to on. Cubot. So you know, <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite Cubot lines to do is a. Uh, Hey, you tell me you forgot the Wi-Fi password. Were you also lying when you said cartoons would run our head? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about that line. I all all I remembered was the Wi-Fi bit, and then you kept going. It's like, oh, there's more. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me ask you a question, man. Good to see Anytime, you. Anytime, man. Yeah. Appreciate you there, Ultimate. Thank you very much. Oh, we got some love in the chat. We got some uh, people showing the love. We got Sonic Boone showing yeah. love in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was so good. And I have some questions. Um, he lives in your walls. Sort of. We both live in Texas, but like hours apart from each other. We've never actually met in person. But we are planning to meet at the Sonic Expo in a couple of weeks. Uh, so that makes, that makes three of us that actually live in Texas since 
I'm Texas as well. <laughs> nice. Yeah. A bit far from ultimate as well. So, you know, I know <laughs> the feeling. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I know the feeling. Uh, let's take a look here. Texans got to stick together. That's uh, that's um, ultimate right there. Saying that, and that's exactly it. Mm. All righty. Um, let me just have a look. Chat. Anybody else has any questions? Feel free to ask. Come on up. Oh, I think we got somebody typing out one. We got one from the uh, chat here. Yeah. Is he living in PA on the North Coast? Yep. I'm right by the coast as well. I feel that I'm on the coast as well. So I know how it is. I'm here. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll ask. Um, do you have any particular dream role that you would like to land in the future? Just a dream role that you've, you would love to just land in the future. That's an interesting question. Don't worry. Something like, like doing with Disney or, or something like that. Or maybe like a Star Wars project or something or anything like that. Respect. I recognize. I recognize the Star Wars love right there. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff here. And oh, did I get oh I thought I got pinged for a second. I thought I got pinged. Is he saying I could never attend an in-person convention even if I wanted to? I don't say that. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Text channel think it was a threat. <laughs> no, you're good there. Uh, you're good there, Halloween Terror. Um, if you got something you want to ask, go right on ahead. I think that was I think that was mainly what uh, Halloween was looking for. Halloween was looking for the chat. It's kind of all over the place. <laughs> mm-hmm. Make do with what we can. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, we to give the- uh, Halloween Terror asks in the chat if you were to voice anyone other than Qbot, who would it be and why? <laughs> you mean Sonic Revo? Well, oh, I would like I wouldn't like to voice Vector for Sonic Grebo. I didn't get at, I didn't get to do that. Although I did end up filling in for Vector at one point when neither voice actor could come in. Mm-hmm. That was fine. God, I have I have massive props for anybody who could do the uh, the Vector voice because I I know from experience it takes it takes it out of you. It takes it out of you. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, it's not just a big, goofy, gun crocodile voice. You gotta remember, he's also very intelligent. He's a detective for crying out loud. And he's kind of a bit of a know-it-all. Oh, yeah. That's what, that is what makes it right there. That is what makes it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Cam Cam can do it. I can. I can personally as well. But again, it's not a demo reel for me. We're here to talk about you. Uh, speaking of Cam, they have another question. Least favorite Sonic character to voice? I'm not sure. You know, if I have a least favorite Sonic character to voice, probably Black 2. He just has to do a voice like this all day long. It would really take a lot out of you. Take it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. And they're also asking uh, if you were to voice act in an official professional studio like Disney or Warner brothers, uh, who would they be or which, which one would it be? Definitely Disney or Warner brothers, but de- also definitely Sega or Nintendo. If they wanted me to do something for sure, for sure. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with Sega or Nintendo. <laughs> pay well, <laughs> they pay you well <laughs> and they'll treat you right. They'll treat you right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tara saying, please drink some water after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a glass of water right here. Always, always stay hydrated. Hydration. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to pop them in the text or raise your hand and come on up. Water yeah, is mama. indeed very important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, take your time there, Halloween Terror. Take your time there. Also, there's a gallon jug. Good Lord. <laughs> Call me Tori. Oh, okay. All right, nice. there. My apologies. Hey, nice. Oh my god! What the heck? That's huge. Good god! Yeah, catch the plates on that one. Hmm. That is such. A... <laughs> I guess I ask you. You got a thermos like that that you carry around for voice acting? You got something like that? <laughs> Not quite as big, but I do have a large bottle like this thermos, like this for work. Mm. Mm, I got you. Oh, everybody's showing their uh, their VA thermoses now. <laughs> yeah. All about that right there. Mm. Here, I guess I'll uh, 
Oh, here we go. Uh, from Halloween Terror MC, what advice would you give to people who are upcoming voice actors slash VOs such as myself? Basically, get started. And just get a microphone and start recording. Start auditioning. I know I procrastinated a lot when I, before I started. And the, the best thing to do is just get started. Just put yourself out there. Get a and get a voiceover demo done. Just go to like a casting club, casting call, and just start auditioning. This is good advice there. Oh, we got Sonic Boon. Sonic Boon. Hey, First Boone. of all, you're an amazing person at a VA. Oh, I think agree with that. I can agree with that. What equipment do you recommend for rookies? Great question. Um, when I started, I used like a blue Yeti microphone. It's a, it's like a hundred bucks. You don't need to go too expensive. You know, nothing too outlandish. Just a good quality microphone, and not some cheap stuff you get at Walmart. <laughs> Ironically, I got that blue Yeti at, at Walmart. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> just a good quality microphone that you can use, and. I used that for a couple of years before I finally upgraded to this right here. <laughs> Served me quite well. And Boone saying thank you there. Thank you there, uh, Boone. Um, I guess I'll, I'll kind of lead off of that. What kind of, uh, what equipment do you currently use? Um, if you don't mind my asking. I use an SE Electronics microphone right here, as well as the, uh, I'll move my laptop over here so you can get a better view. I got gotcha. you. Got uh, this. Uh, protector thing right here and we got the foam right here yeah that's what i use make sure it's all pa make sure you're in a quiet quiet padded room something with good soundproof protection oh, what the heck oh sorry something happened really quick i lagged for a second thought i got knocked off the stage sorry but, uh, anyway, it looks like fox reed has a question all right fox reed here let me go ahead and uh, and the text question it's a text question okay yeah. uh, let's see Actually curious if you took any classes such as Canto. P.S. Thank you for the interview. I know you still love the Black Knight. <laughs> yes, I do. And uh, I enjoyed doing that interview with Vox 3. Or a joy to work with. Anyway, I did take a voice acting class. I think it was a free voice acting class. I don't think they're doing it anymore, but you know, this group of people who were doing voiceover classes, Ultimate was in it as well. Oh, as well as Kelp and several other VAs here. But yeah, I did, it's important to take classes to really hone your acting. I'd also recommend doing for or for live theater. I still do live theater or today. In fact, I got another. I did a show last night and another one tonight, which is why I won't be able to. And tomorrow, which is why I won't be able to attend most of the convention. But yeah, really hone your acting skills because voice acting is acting. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll look here. And looks like um, BG, BG Jedi also has a text question. Yep. I don't know if you got asked this question. I'll ask anyways. How did you get your start in voice acting and what's your favorite role that's non Sonic related? It's actually a very interesting question. Back when I started, I got my microphone and everything, but I was just like, eh, I'll do this later. And at one point, I, I, I was on a the casting call and I saw this thing for a project called Nintendo High. I was like, this looks pretty interesting. I was like, eh, I don't really have a microphone right now. I'll, I'll do something later. Then when I got my microphone, I never went to it. And then it was actually Sonic's birthday, 30th birthday, 2021 and June 23rd. I saw the second episode of Nintendo High had come out. I was like, really? They actually did it? I saw it and it was really good. And I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed watching it. Although at the same time, I was like, I could have been a part of this. And that's when I finally decided enough was enough. So I finally went on myself, put up, a, you know, put up an account for, for the casting call, for behind the voice actors casting club. Uh, um, and, San and no ultimate, I'm not, in, I'm not in Nintendo High. I sadly, though I would love to be part of it. And I... The next, next day I set up a casting call and a few days later I started auditioning. There we go. Oh, Boone saying you'll get there one day, MC. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the first person that I auditioned for was this guy named Coleosis who had this, uh, this project called Supersonic Squad Bros on the Road. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. 
and just audition for that. And a few seconds later, like a few minutes later, I got a notification. I got the role as Chris Thorndike, <laughs> an, an adult Chris Thorndike. And so it's like, I got a Sonic project. <laughs> yeah, I ended up, I ended up doing more voices in that project, like Sonic and Waluigi. Yeah, it was a Mario and Sonic crossover. But, but yeah, I ended up doing that, and he liked my things so much. <laughs> And she ended up, and Cole and I are still good friends to this day. He voices Knuckles for a lot of my projects, and he gave him the role as a way of saying thank you. Oh, absolutely! That'd be, that'd be dope. That would actually be really dope. And another interesting thing is that even before that, back in like tw- late 2020, Pixel Rush had been putting out this thing, doing voice acting stuff, and I was interested in that. But again, I didn't have a microphone, so I was like, oh, and, and I saw I needed Discord. I didn't have Discord at the time. I was like. And whatever. But later, Cole ended up asking me if I could join Discord for projects and stuff like that. So I did. And somehow, when I joined Discord, I remembered that I wanted to do Pixel Rush's thing. So it brought me into his server, his voice acting server. And that's how I met Cashlin and other voice actors. And that's basically how I got my start. Looks like uh, next up, we've got a uh, hand raised here by w- Stage 22, who has a question for you? Let's bring one Hi. on up. Do you want to what? Uh, just give me a sec. Just trying to see if I'm getting things working over here. <laughs> yeah, we right. hear you loud and clear, my friend. <laughs> ah, sweet. So, yo, what up? Is okay. So, um, this is something, this is actually a question that goes into something I've been trying to figure out for, for a lot, for myself for a while. Like, like, I can tell you have a very big passion for voice acting, but what I'm trying to, what I'm wanting to know is, like, how exactly do you come about trying to find a balance between, you know, what, what you're passionate about, like, voice acting and all that, and, and, all the, and all the IRL stuff going, like, how do you find a balance between the two? It's a very interesting question. I only take, like, a few hours every week to actually do voice acting. I got, do have a full-time job. I have, I have family. I'm taking care of my parents and my brothers. And I currently also in a theater production. So it's been a hassle. And doing voice yeah, acting, video editing and all that stuff, which is why I haven't been able to get that much out recently. But the, but the theater production is ending this weekend. So hopefully I'll be able to get more stuff done. Hmm. So just basically. But yeah, but yeah so the voice basically- acting is ringing for now is just a part time thing. It's not a full time thing, and family comes first. Hmm. Right. So basically, just just putting family above your your passions for right now. Yeah, basically, and and, and you gotta remember your priorities. Make sure you know. Make sure you know what your priorities are, and stick to them. Hmm. Yeah. Make it sound a little more easy than it than it sounds and or it should be <laughs> which i can probably imagine that it's it doesn't get easy with time mm-hmm. oh yeah <sighs> well I guess, I guess that pretty much wraps it up for me like thanks for your question like just just dusted it up up in there eh, dust <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> a joke is older than my fossil collection brother <laughs> <laughs> yeah i had to dig up that one Anyway, thanks again for your question. And hey, no problem, man. Thank no you, Darren. Well, I appreciate you. <laughs> got a few uh, more hands raised here. Yep, we got Hannah up next, I believe. Uh, Hannah, come on up. Hi. Hey, Hannah. So, um, when it comes to scripts, do you usually read and memorize them? Or do you read your lines as you record? Oftentimes, when I'm doing voice acting, I just read the stuff as I go. Like, I read the line first, then I'll say the line. Though it, pay, though it helps to read the whole script first. Or at least most of I can first. Or for theater, like for live theater, you got to memorize everything. But for voiceover, you can just read the stuff right there. You're on the go. Nice. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for your question. No problem. Thank you there, Hannah. Appreciate you. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All righty. It looks like we have Trey Thornton 19 has a question for you. Right. Uh, 
Go ahead and move Trey on up there. Oh, there, Trey. Hello. Hey, Trey. Hello, MC, my dude. Yeah, my dude. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing well, you? I'm doing excellent to have a great time with this amazing online. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my questions for you, MC, is what is your favorite comic dub that you made? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Hmm. It's like having to ask, who's your favorite kid? Yeah, it's like asking your favorite child. <laughs> uh, no, I meant the comic dub. <laughs> right. Yeah, but since I've worked on all of them, edited and put my love into them, it's just like having to pick out who's your favorite kid. Definitely some of my favorites include like the My Gal dub that recently came out. I also really like the Sonic X ones, the Sonic Boom one. Uh, the we had a fight thing, and obviously the unexpected test subjects. X does; those are a big favorite. Yeah, yeah. Ultimate was... kind of another great one. Yeah, and, that was but, my favorite. One of my definitely one of my personal favorites is the I see oh. the light dub, the Sherry Doodles one, because I got the scene in that, and and just had a great time doing that one. Nice, unexpected test subject is my favorite. <laughs> And and in case and, and before anyone asks, part three will come out soon. Joanna and Andrew is still working on it. So please stop asking in the comments. Yeah, so that's all I can answer for you. And it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Trey. Take care. You too. Appreciate you there, Trey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look at what we got. Um, go ahead and pick uh, somebody who ended up here. Uh, real quick. Let's let's get uh, Blue Cube on up here. Blue Cube, come on up. Hello, hello. Can everybody uh, hear me okay? We hear you loud and clear. All right, cool. What is up, MC Voices? Great to see you here at Sonic Revolution. Great to see you too. Hey, let's go. So my question it might seem a little bit cliche, but... What is it you enjoy most about voiceover and voice acting? Basically getting to be a character and bring the characters to life. Just having a lot of fun doing it. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, that part of voice acting is definitely like the, some like you get the most enjoyment out of just getting to be someone else, getting to be in someone else's shoes. That's not even real, but it's mm -hmm. just so, so much fun. Mm hmm definitely yeah but thank you for the answer mc voices yeah thanks for your question mm hmm love your work thank you sir thank you there uh blue cube appreciate you coming on by Let's see who's next here uh oh we got one of our very own volunteers here kooky star has question hello hello hey there kooky star what's up guys nice to see hey. you again mc Nice to see you again, too. <laughs> so as for my question, uh, this is like a general thing. What is your most favorite game that you ever played so far this year? Hmm. Interesting question. Sonic Frontiers is definitely a favorite. So my ultimate favorites probably have to be all the Lego games, like Lego Star Wars and stuff like that. I really, oh. enjoyed, the, I really enjoyed the Skywalker Saga that just came out. But of course, you can't go wrong with Complete Saga, the original. Awesome. Yeah, my personal favorite so far has been, well, two of them. You, are, you guys already know how I work. So it's Mario Wonders and Sonic Superstar so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, has been great games, but challenging levels, which is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, thank I'm you so much for answering my question. Yeah, anytime. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. Have a nice day, everyone. You too. Get a kooky star. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, looks like uh, Trigger has a second round here. So, All right. Big Trigger back up. Hello again. Hello again. Thanks for bringing hey, me up again. again. <laughs> yeah. So, my second question for MC is um, when it comes to, you know, when it comes to voice acting beforehand, it, do you have like a, uh, how do I say this? like a proper routine that you go through before you begin like and if so what would that be 
Yeah, I do like to do a few vocal stretch ups, warm ups before I go. Uh, like I like do a like lip trills and tongue rolls, like and another thing is going and having going up to your falsetto and down low to your red lower register, like stuff like that. Basically, warm up verse. Sometimes I even do it like a you know, like if you're doing like punching moves, stuff like that. Basically, get your voice up to note, up to speed. Gotcha. I guess I better start taking notes on that kind of stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Cash is really the person you should go to if you're having when I need to figure out how to do warm ups and stuff like that. I learned a lot of stuff from her. Sorry, uh, say that again. Uh, it lagged for me. Like Cashlyn is the person I go to for. I went to for a bunch of my vocal warm ups. So she's really the one if you want to advice on vocal warm ups and stuff like that. Yes, I better start taking notes then. Well, thanks for the second round. Cheers. See you later. Uh, Dusty, you there? Anyway, do you remember earlier seeing a text question up here uh, with Savannah C asking, are you currently accepting new casting roles or are you sticking to what you already do? If you're talking to, what, to me personally for if I'm accepting any new voice roles, yes, I'm always auditioning for other projects. But like for my own projects, if I'm currently accepting other voice actors, no, I'm currently not. I often go to other people's demo reels, figure out what I like, what I don't like, and see if they fit a character or not. But yeah, anyway, game. If anyone else has any other questions, you're free to raise your hand or, or say something in text. Yeah, exactly. Ultimate. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 I'm waiting. Oh, we got one from Rainboom right here. Yeah, how do I call her up? Hello there. Hey there. Hello there. How are you? Doing well, Rainboom. All right. So I do have a question for you in general, MC. Do you have your most favorite video game soundtrack? Mm, interesting question. Frontiers is definitely a good one. So is 06 and Unleashed. But my ultimate favorite probably would be Sonic and the Black Knight. That music is just peak. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. It's so freaking amazing. I do really love the the uh, the yeah with me in the battle with the, with Dark Queen mm-hmm. and uh, Night of the Wind because it was one of my most favorite song I ever listened to. It's very cool. Yep, and also Live Life is a wonderful song. Ah yes. <laughs> And just the music in general, oh, it's just so amazing with or- orchestral th- along with the rock. And orchestral rock is definitely one of my favorites. Ah, uh, yeah, same here. I do love rock, especially the heavy metal one. Mm-hmm. Anyway, well, thanks for your question. You're very welcome. So, hope you have a good day, and I wish you have a good day. So, thanks, see ya. you too. See you around. <laughs> okay. Next, I have a, you have a text question from Trey Thornton. What are your thoughts of, about update three playable characters from Frontiers? It was great. I really enjoyed getting to play as Amy Knuckles and Tails. It had been a little tricky to control, but I got the hang of it. It was so great to get to see these characters be playable again. Oh, yeah. And, and now Dino Kaiju asks, how is it for you dubbing the Sonic Boom Archie comic? I had a blast doing that. And getting to work with all the different voice actors. Sonic Boom is just so fun. I really enjoy getting to do that one. And I did issue three because I had seen other people already did issues one and two. So I was like, why not move on to number three? And it is a fun one. So I enjoy getting to do that one. Okay, now I got another question from Mike Saber. I'll invite him up. Hey there. If I should a- ask who your favorite Sonic character is or what your favorite Sonic game is. What my favorite Sonic game is? Yeah. I, Sonic and the Black Knight is definitely one of my favorites. I also really enjoyed Frontiers. Say yeah, again. Sonic, what? Say again, you cut out for me. So, Sonic and the Black Knight is definitely one of my favorites. But as far as gameplay goes, I really enjoyed Frontiers. Oh, yeah. Story-wise, for me, I'd say Secret Rings because it has an interesting concept. Yeah. Favorite character. Nice. Which one's that? Which character is that? Uh, I would either. My favorite would either be 
along the lines of shadow or knuckles. Nice. Anyway, thanks for the question. Anytime. And we also got a question from Chris. I'll call him up. Hello. Yep. Yo, Chris. Hey, you. So, my question is, out of all of the characters you got to voice, which one was your favorite one to do? That's an interesting question. I'm not sure if I have an absolute favorite Sonic character voice to do. Sonic's obviously a favorite one. I really get to enjoy doing him a lot. I also really like doing Vector, Eggman, Orbot, Cubot. Knuckles is another favorite. All right. Yeah, that was my question. Thank you for answering. And thanks for the question, Chris. Mm-hmm. Let's see who else we have. Well, we got uh, Robert here, Mystic Robert. So call him up. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Going well. Yeah. Um, let me see. So I guess for this year, like I know that Sonic's been like a huge part of your life. So what was it about Sonic that really made you fall in love with them? And how would you say that this year was for Sonic in general? So I know it's kind of two questions, but what made you fall in love with Sonic? And how would you describe this year in general? For the blue back in 2008, I was in they, my kids' church had several Sonic games in there. I just really like they had Mario Kart Olympics, Sonic Riders, the Mega Collection, and I just fell in love with like Sonic's design, his voice, and how you know, he's just so cool. And as far as what I thought this year was for Sonic, I thought it was a pretty good year for Sonic, getting like Frontiers, Superstars. Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, that was amazing. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was great. And you haven't gotten that much of the Sonic movie stuff yet, but probably next year. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks, thanks for the question, Robert. you again. Yeah. Thank you very much, Robert. Appreciate you. Yeah, we I like going one with AWOL. <laughs> so I'm like, room time for one or two more questions, and I got something else I want to do. Anyway, we got... Right. Uh, we can go with uh, Halloween, Halloween Terror, Terror right here again. Yeah, let's go with them. Let's go ahead and bring Halloween Terror on up here. Hello, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Dude. I, uh, my question is, do you have any personal anecdotes or fun stories related to your work as a voice actor? I don't necessarily say fun story. I don't, can't think of any at the time, but I mm. it is pl- pretty fun, right? Getting to do the different voices and dealing with different people. Oh, exactly. okay, okay. <laughs> was there like any? Uh, sorry for like the follow up. If that's not allowed, is it dust actually? Uh, try to keep it to one uh, per uh, per person. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I won't. I won't do a follow up then. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for your time, MC. Of course, thank you so much. <laughs> of course, no problem. Thanks so much, Elvin Terra. Appreciate you. Of course. Of course. Yeah, let's and, see. Uh, yeah. Trigger VA again. All right. This will probably be our last one, you said? Maybe one or two more. One or two more? All right. Well, let me go ahead and we'll bring Trigger on up here. Hey, hey, again. Yeah. Hey there. Hey, uh, I know I've been up here a lot already, but I promise this is my last one because I want everyone out there to have a fair chance. But my question for you is uh, is based off of uh, Frontiers and uh, Dust, unless otherwise you're more than welcome to answer this too. Sorry, my brother's in the background there. Sorry about that. (laughs) Good team, by the way, man. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so my question is uh, because the one year anniversary for Frontiers is soon coming up in November, uh, over the past year, uh, <clears throat> bleh, I'm getting my words scrambled. <laughs> Out of the past year with Frontiers, like, what would you have to say was your most favorite improvements about the game and how so? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I really, as far as updates go, I really liked update three, improving the story a lot. I also get, enjoyed getting to get the spin dash and other stuff like that. It was, gotcha. pretty, it was pretty fun having the birthday stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, I won't disagree there. Like, like as I, I guess as I mentioned in the other, uh, the other stage, like if there's one thing that I've definitely loved about Sega with Frontiers is that even though they started rough, they work to improve and redeem themselves, which they obviously have with update update three. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they kept bringing things on one at a time to better, like, 
to better redeem themselves and you know hats off to them for doing that Mm -hmm. but personally the one change i wish they could have done which i will admit a lot of people would disagree with me on this but i'm gonna say it anyway the one change i wish they could have done was the uh the titan bosses with the second phases where they show the moves they do i'm not gonna say anything about the third update but you know, with the moves that they do, like in the little cutscene to the second phase, like, you know, Wyvern with the rings and then mm. Knight with like <laughs> the machine gun shoulders, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But they don't actually use it on you. It's like, what's the point in showing that if you're not going to use it? Mm. And it's like, I just wish that's one thing they could have changed. But besides that, the game has definitely had a huge climb. So hats off to Sega mm. all the way. Yep. Anyway, thanks for your question. No problem. Cheers. And thanks for, again. All right. Let's see here. Got it. Hey, got room for one more question. Yeah, we got room for got one some. more, everybody. Take a look here. If we've got one in the chat, maybe let's take a look. Oh, here. What's this? This is Kooky Star here. Um, if you have one, what's your, what is the most? What is your most coveted, you know, piece of Sonic merch that you own? <laughs> I actually don't have that much Sonic merch. My brother has a Sonic plushie, so that's fun. I personally don't have that much uh, a real Sonic mer- piece of merchandise myself. So it would be nice to eventually get some like that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Like, I got a couple, a couple pieces of Sonic merch. I don't, I don't really have too much. I don't have a whole heck of a lot, but uh, mm. a good amount. But uh, you said that you had something you'd like to uh, lead us off with there, uh, MC. Close to that one. All right. Actually, yes, I do. I got a little sneak peek, a little special sneak peek for an upcoming project of mine. And it's a big project of mine. I am going to post this on social media later, but since you're here, you get to see it first. Anyway, I'm right here in the chat and voila. Yep, check it out, y'all. There is a sneak peek at MC's next project. Boy, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, you heard it here first. Here first, a Revo first right there. <laughs> As a debut sneak peek project, actually. That's actually really cool you did that. <laughs> everybody, everybody hyped for it. Everybody's getting hyped. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that is going to about wrap it here. I think that went fairly well. I think that went good right there. Uh, thank you all for your questions. Uh, MC, if you have anything else you'd like to say before we uh, round out here, the floor is yours completely. <laughs> okay. Before we run, um, some of you may not be doing so well right now. I know this world can be very crazy. Everything's going wild these days. I just want you to know that keep going. You've got this. You're special. You're loved. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, yeah, that's pretty all I have to say. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you, chat, for joining us here. Stay tuned in here because we've got uh, we've got two very uh, two angry men coming up in here to, you know, hash out their little disagreements here. It's going to be Diet Dr. Kelp, the ultimate voice actor coming right up. That's been MC Voices. I've been Dust in the Wind. Thank you all so much. Enjoy the rest of the convention. To and everyone else, I'll play with you some other time. See ya. <laughs>